What's up YouTube? Um, this is a video, this is going to be a video on um, how we recycle our rinse water and what we use it for and um, how we've um, plumbed it and just um, the way we set it up. Um, when we first do our, when we do our first load of clothes, which will be the first cycle which is um, washing, you know we've got all the dirty clothes going in, soap, softener, whatever, that water, um, once the cycle is done, it pumps it out through the uh, common drain hose, which then goes to another tanker on back. And let me just show you that real quick. This is a 135 um, liter tank. Um, the way we have it set up, as you can see right here, the pipe comes here, tees off, and then it goes to here. And right here, we just have a screw on uh, cover so that when the wash water comes, we do not catch that. Um, it's dirty water, so I don't see how we could really re reuse that for washing. But um, it goes and backfills and then goes down to our drain over there, which how it used to, which is how it, um, every house does. Goes and goes to the sewer or the um, septic tank. Um, now, when we're doing our um, rinse cycle, we fill the uh, we fill the washing machine up with water as normal. When we're rinsing, though, we open this valve so that the water comes from the washing machine through the pipe, passes the T because of the force into the tank. When we catch this water, um, and if we're doing multiple loads, we use this water for our wash cycle on the next um, on the next load. That way, we're theoretically cutting our usage in half of water. We do lose a, a little bit in the clothes, obviously, but um, it's a severe. It cuts back on water usage. Um, also, since we um, now, if we're going to be doing multiple loads of clothes throughout the day, we'll just continue that cycle over, take the rinse water from the first, use it for the wash on the second, and then second rinse will be for the third wash and, and, and on. Um, but in the Senate, but in just in case we, or in the, when we're done washing, um, I'll take this hose right here, which is what we will use to fill the washing machine up. I should have mentioned that. Um, I'll have this hose, which is hooked up to a pump in that tank, we will um, hook a hose up to this, which then I can use to water or try and reduce the amount of dust we have in this area of backyard right here. Um, in the dry season, it does get uh, pretty dusty and hot, so this grass doesn't last long. But um, a little bit of water does keep the dust down and sometimes keeps the grass alive. But um, yeah, back to this tank here. Um, if you look right here. You can probably see that. That's a bilge pump by rule. It's um, well, a thousand gallons an hour, which um, is pretty impressive. But that's at three feet lifts, so um, actually two feet lifts, so it's a little higher than that, so it doesn't exactly perform the same, but it's an incredible piece of equipment. Uh, we pay like 20 bucks for it. This is not the one with the automatic, uh, automatic switch. Rule does sell one with that, but um, anyway, this is just an on-off pump. It works great. Um, 12 volt leads. Nothing much. Um, you can see the cord runs with the pipes around the back. Then it runs up the wall. And uh, as you can see right up here, it tees off when it goes down to our switch. Well, it's just as normal. But um, anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments or any ideas on systems you've done, um, give me your link and just give me a comment. And um, if you have questions, I'm more than happy to try and help you answer them. Um, but yeah, but please subscribe and y'all have a good day.